Hello and welcome to the Sunday edition of PS Weekly. Why? Wasn't it on Friday? Well, yesterday I went to Six Flags and it was a Saturday yesterday. And while I was chilling there, I was like, wait a minute. If today is Saturday, then yesterday was Friday. Then the Friday means that I should have came out with the PS Weekly and I totally forgot to do it. So, here we are on a Sunday. Today, I want to talk about the final round world tournament videos with S777 and KID. Most likely, you guys have already seen these videos, but today, we're just going to briefly go over these videos and narrow it down to which one I think will win the world tournament. You may or may not agree with me, so just leave your opinion down in the bottom comments, or even leave a video response. So, let's get started. S77's video, now! Starting off with a very stylish pose into a great trick and continues with some very original S777 linkages. He continues with the linkages and what he then sets up a very great around segment starting right now. Awesome, he continues on with multiple inverse pinky back busts. Continue on with some great linkages and finishes it off with some gravity defying finisher and an arm seizure. And we're back. First off, very awesome combo S777, and I just want to let you guys know right off the bat, I'm not exactly sure the names of multiple, most of the tricks that he done in this combo, so I'm just going to demonstrate it with my own mod. So first off, we can all agree that his combo is composed of multiple things, and one of those things happened to be it is very, very stylish. Now you can just tell how stylish it is just by right at the beginning how he poses his hand and continues on with that thumb trick. Something like that. I'm not exactly sure what that trick is called, but I think the first person that's ever done that trick was Rex. He's the first person that I've seen that's done that trick, and ever since then, lots of people have been copying it. But I'm not exactly sure. Let me know down below if you know. And also, the combo is really composed of his linkages. That's what most of the combo was, is his original linkages and... His linkages are very, very distinctive, and if you see some people doing it, you'll automatically think of S777. One of them happens to be his style of how he does an infinity. Now, a, usual, a normal, traditional infinity looks like this. But how S777 does them is when he goes down, he actually hooks it into his index finger, just like that. What he does is he pushes down the mod with his thumb, extends his whole hand... And he most likely connects it down into here. That's what he usually does. Very S77-like. Very nice linkages. Now also, his combo is composed of three major segments. And the first one happens to be what you guys have seen, the around segment. Which is very, very distinctive. Makes the combo very difficult. And it really makes the combo memorable. These, these segments are what makes the combo memorable. Another segment would happen to be the multiple inverse pinky busts or backs that he does. So it, sh it goes something like that, I believe. And he does them times three. I usually do it with my index finger. Oh, fail. Just like that. But he does them with his pinky, which is definitely a lot harder. And the last but not least, his finisher, which is amazing, gravity-defying, something that I've never seen before. It is, I would, it looks to me like something like this. Very gravity-defying. And also, of course, the arm seizure, but I don't think that's going to play any role with the judges. But okay, done with that 777's combo. Now on to Kins. Start. He starts off with a reverse thumb around into a double back, very, very nice pinky around segment, into back-to-back -back aerial tricks, and continues on with some very distinctive kin-like linkages. Very nice. And he does executes a very sweet and simple wiper, and continues on with his traditional 2, 3, and 4 triangle pass, and finishes it off with some busts. And we're back again. Now, first off, it is a very, very nice combo from Kin. Now, most of his combos are made up of his own linkages. Very, very nice, distinctive Kin-like linkages, yet not as complex as S777's linkages. And also, I've only found two sections 
of his combo, and they're not as major as they should be for a final round world tournament video. The first section, maybe not really considered a section, would, would be his double back-to-back -back aerial tricks, which isn't exactly as difficult as it should be. It should be a little bit more difficult than that. Maybe I would consider that reverse palm around thing, but still very, very little, not exactly sure if that would be considered a good significant thing a memorable thing for his combo of course the biggest thing would happen to be his triangle pass using fingers two three and four very very difficult yet not really amazed by it anymore because he's used that same exact trick in the past i think three videos of the world tournament recycling tricks is fine yet is not going to create that that same impact as the first time we've seen it. Of course, still very good. Finisher wasn't as good as it should be as well. As for the style of Kin's combo, of course, we all know that every pin spinner has his or her own pin spinning style. But would I call Kin's combo stylish? I wouldn't say so. So let's compare both of the combos. First off, style. Of course you guys know that S777's combo was very stylish as I said. As for Kin's combo, I would, wouldn't consider it to be very stylish. So I would say S777 wins the style factor, which means I think overall pen spinning appeal. Now, as for uh, linkages, both had very, very nice linkages. I think S777's linkages was a little bit more complex, a little bit more difficult than Kin's. However, I'm going to cut Kin some slack and say they're about even. Maybe it could be a biased thing. Maybe it just could be what I find harder or what somebody else finds harder. So I'm just going to say both of them are about the same in linkages. As for major memorable segments of the combo, definitely, definitely have to give it to S777. He has three major and yet very, very difficult sections in his combo, whereas Kin only just one really, maybe one and a half. Certainly, Kin reused that triangle pass again and again in his previous combos, so it is definitely doesn't give that major impact as it really should. So I think the combo overall is really lacking a lot of stuff. I think he should have added a bit more stuff in there. So I would say, of course, S777's overall combo is a lot better than Kid's, especially with the finisher of both combos. S777 definitely did a incredible, original, never-seen-before finisher, while Kid just really didn't care about the finisher, threw up the triangle pass and finished it off with a bust. Maybe he just didn't feel like trying anymore. Maybe he just ran out of material. I'm not exactly sure, but I really wished, I really think that Kid could have done a lot better job, and I would definitely say that S777 will definitely win the world tournament and if he doesn't that would be a major major upset but again i could be wrong of course let me know down below what you guys think and that's about wraps it up for this special final round world tournament ps weekly and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace shaka